There are any number of things that can cause an Android smartphone or tablet to go into a boot loop. I've personally seen this happen after installing a root mod that wasn't compatible with the device itself. And there are many reports of these devices being seemingly bricked after a simple restart as well. So in today's video, I want to take some time and show you how to unbrick the Samsung Galaxy S22 when it just reboots over and over again without ever taking you into the Android operating system. This unbrick tutorial will work for the base version of the Galaxy S22, as well as the Galaxy S22 Plus and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. This process also works on both the Snapdragon and Exynos chipsets. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the firmware that matches your device. This means the firmware should match both the model number and the region code that you have on your device. I've done tutorials on this in the past. So if you're not familiar with how this is done, be sure to check the linked tutorial down in the video description below. I downloaded today's firmware with a program called Freya, but there are a variety of tools and websites out there that you can use as well. After the firmware has been downloaded, it needs to be extracted to your PC and you will then need to download and extract a program called Odin if you haven't already on your computer. You will find a download link for the version of Odin that I'm using down in the video description as well. And we're going to be using that program, we're going to be using Odin to unbrick and install the firmware onto our Galaxy S22 here. And this is what it currently looks like on my computer. This is the firmware that I downloaded. You can see it is a zip file, so it needed to be extracted. I used a program called 7-Zip to extract this file. And when I extracted the contents, contents of this file, it gave me this folder. When we go into here, you're going to see the five files that are associated with the firmware that we downloaded for the Galaxy S22. These are the files that we're going to be loading into that program called Odin. Now before we can actually flash those files with Odin, we need to boot this device into download mode. And we're going to do that using the USB method. So if your device is in a boot loop, and that means that it is currently booting over and over and over, you're going to need to time this process just right. So you're going to want to wait until the screen goes black during that reboot cycle. And when the screen goes black, we're going to press and hold both the volume up and the volume down buttons. And after we press those buttons, we're going to insert the USB cable that is connected to our PC. So we have a USB cable connected to our computer. We have pressed both volume down and volume up buttons during the reboot cycle. And while we're holding those two buttons down, we're going to insert the USB cable while continuing to hold those two buttons down until you see the screen boot into something that looks like this. Once you see this screen, then you can let go of the volume up and volume down buttons. This is actually the splash screen for download mode. And you can see here, we're going to need to press the volume up button to continue. And by continue, that means to bypass the splash screen and to boot into the actual download mode, which looks like this. So now we're gonna focus our attention back to the PC. Remember, we have our Galaxy S22 in download mode and it is still connected to the USB cable. We can then open up Odin and we need to make sure 
that Odin detects our galaxy S22. So one of these slots should be blue, like you see here, meaning that it is connected. And you will also get this little message down here at the bottom saying that it has been added as well. Now if we were to unplug the phone, we can see that it is removed. And again, we're just going to insert that cable we need to make sure that it has been added and that the Odin program detects our bricked Galaxy S22. So now we're going to take these firmware files that we downloaded and we're going to load them up into Odin. So first we're going to click the BL button right here. And then we're going to find the file that begins with the letters BL. Next, we're going to click the CP button right here. And again, we're going to find and select the file that begins with the letters CP. Now we are going to click the CSC button and we're going to select the file that begins with the letters CSC. It's important that we select this file right here, not the home CSC button. Since we are coming from a bricked Samsung Galaxy S22, our data needs to be wiped during this process. And lastly, we're going to click the AP button right here so that we can load this massive AP firmware file. This is a big nine gigabyte file for me. So after we have selected that AP file, we're gonna wait a little bit because Odin needs to parse all of the files in that file. So you're likely gonna see Odin go not responding. That's perfectly okay. We're just going to be patient. We're going to wait for Odin to open that file and make sure that it is the correct firmware file. After a minute or two, we're going to see it change from not responding. And we're going to see that AP slot being filled with that file that begins with the letters AP. Just like that. So now we have our four files. We are only loading in four files into Odin right now. Odin still detects our Galaxy S22. Here are the options I'm setting in the options tab, just for reference. And when you're ready, we're gonna click the start button down here at the bottom. This whole process is going to fix your bricked Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, and Galaxy S22 Ultra by reinstalling the firmware files on our device. This is going to completely replace the Android file system that we have on our smartphone with the freshly downloaded Samsung firmware that we just extracted. This entire process will take a while, and the amount of time it takes will depend on how fast your computer is, how fast the USB cable connection is, and even how fast the storage on your device is. So all we're gonna need to do after we click the start button is be patient and wait for Odin to reinstall the firmware on our bricked Galaxy S22.
There's no need to touch the phone. There's no need to mess with the USB cable. We need to maintain a stable USB connection so that Odin can complete this process. And you can even follow along in the log here to find out exactly what's currently happening. So after it has flashed all of these smaller files, you can see it began flashing and installing the big super.img file, which is a lot larger and that's why it's taking a lot longer. You're gonna see this progress bar right here in Odin. And you're also going to see a progress bar at the bottom of the Galaxy S22 while it is in download mode. As long as that progress bar is not frozen and it is not stuck, then you know the process is continuing and that we just need to wait a little longer. We can see it move past that big super image, flash the persistent recovery and vmeta image files. And it's going to continue on with all of these firmware files until we get a green pass message up here at the top. Once we see the green pass message, our Samsung Galaxy S22 is going to reboot on its own and that means the process is complete. As the phone has rebooted by itself, we're just going to wait. Since we have basically done a massive factory data reset and all of the data has been wiped from our phone, this first boot back into Android is going to take a little bit longer than normal. After about a minute, you should see the screen transition like that as it continues the boot cycle and takes us to the Android activation screen. So I'm going to skip through this real quick and then show you the phone has booted up. So after skipping all of that, we can hit the finish button and we have finally booted back into Android and the Samsung Galaxy S22 home screen. That completes the Unbrick tutorial for the Samsung Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, and Galaxy S22 Ultra. And now that we have booted back into Android, we can restore our backed up data if needed, and then begin using the phone like normal.